Hello everyone and welcome back to Bitcoin Tips. So today we're going to be talking about how you can start mining Ethereum using your Windows 10 or 11 based computer here in 2025 in less than 10 minutes. So if all of that sounds interesting to you, I do want to make sure to ask you to stick around through the entire video so that you don't miss out on any of the great tips and tricks that I have to help you earn more and keep more of the Ethereum that you're mining here in 2025, allowing you to build your holdings and be better prepared for the bull run. Also, I do want to take a second to mention there are some changes here on the channel. Um, if you do see slight interruptions in this video um, that is by design due to a new change here on the YouTube platform I do have a full-length video linked in the description if you'd like to learn more about that but I do appreciate your understanding with that change And before we dive into the video today, I always do like to start off here on CoinMarketCap, just taking a quick look at what's going on in the crypto markets as a point of reference if you happen to be watching this video in the future. So if you aren't interested in this portion, feel free to skip ahead one to two minutes and we'll be getting into the video then. But overall, as you can see here, crypto is doing pretty good, up about 3% today to a total market cap of $2.96 trillion across the board. And if we look a little closer in the top 10, we're seeing a lot of green. Um, almost all of the top 10, with the exception of Tron, have a positive increase today, many of them having a positive increase over the week. So very, very nice to see. Of course, in that bunch is Ethereum sitting at $2,250 and about 3.12% up today. So overall, looking really good. But if we click into Ethereum here, you can see that it's all time high was right around the $4,891 mark, which means you've got about a 54% 50 potential if it was to just get back to that all time high and not even go any higher. So you might be thinking, how do you mine Ethereum? Ethereum switched from being a POS or to, from a POW to a POS coin a few years ago. So you can't actually mine this coin anymore. But we're actually using a site here called Unminable, which if you're not familiar with the site, it basically does what the title says. It allows you to mine coins that are not traditionally mineable. So in this case, for this video, we're going to be using the Kapow algorithm, which is a Ravencoin based algorithm, which my GPU will be mining Ravencoin, Unminable converts the Ravencoin over into Ethereum on the back end and then pays me out. So you're not actually mining the coin directly up, but if you are in an area where your crypto trades are treated as a taxable event, it could really help you in the long run to get paid out directly in the coins that you want to hold, such as Ethereum. So what you can go ahead and do, the link is in the description for Unminable. If you use the link in the description, it's going to save you 25% on your pool mining fee, which we'll talk about in just a minute. Or you can navigate to unminable.com. And then what you'll do is select this Get Started with our Setup button. And then we have Basic and Advanced. Now, I always personally recommend going with Basic, but Advanced is there if you're interested. On top of that, we have the question of, do you want to mine with your GPU or CPU? I'm going to be going the GPU route today, but CPU is there if you're following along with a Windows-based CPU or you're looking to mine on a Mac OS computer. Then what you're going to do is select the algorithm that is most profitable for your hardware. Now again, I'm going to be going with Kapow, but if you don't know what's best for your hardware, I would recommend going over to a site called whattomine.com. It allows you to enter in the GPU hardware that you have in your computer and it'll tell you the best and most profitable algorithm to use for mining. So then you can come back here and make an educated choice. The next selection is uh, picking the coin that you want to get paid out in, which of course in this video is going to be Ethereum, but they do have over 90 different cryptocurrencies here on the site for you to get paid out in. Then what you'll do is enter in your Ethereum address. Now I do like to take a second to say, please double and triple check this address. If this address is wrong, everything will still work as expected and very similar to how you see in this video. But when it comes time to get paid out, you simply just won't receive the funds. So I'd hate to see you mine and mine and then get to the payout and not be able to withdraw. So please double and triple check that address. 
And the final step here before getting started with the downloading of all the files is the referral code section. Now, if you use the link in the description below, you'll notice my Bitcoin tips referral code auto populated into this box. And as I mentioned before, this is actually going to save you 25% on your pool mining fee. So here on Unminable, there's a 1% mining fee, meaning that if you mine 100 Ethereum coin, obviously you're going to be pretty happy about that, but you're going to pay one of those coins to Unminable as part of their fee. By using this code, you actually reduce that down to 0.75%. So that means you get to keep an additional 0.25 of every coin that you would have otherwise paid as you mine 100 coins. So using this code does help you build your holdings a little bit faster, which is awesome. Now, if you don't want to use that, feel free to continue without it and pay that higher fee or go ahead and select next. This is the final step where you download all the files and get started. Now I'm gonna recommend Gminer as this is the one that I personally use and I've had a lot of really good luck with it. It's my you know personal favorite here, but I have used all the other miners here on the site and really they all do the same thing, um, but I do know some people have different issues. So if you're struggling to get it started, you could always try a separate miner. But what you're gonna do is select download minor files. This will take you to the GitHub where you just select this Windows 64 zip file, download this and extract it. If you miss the extraction step, you're gonna get an error right away when we go to start mining, which is in just a minute. So if that's something you're running into, make sure you didn't miss that extraction step. Then what you're gonna do is come back over to Unminable and select this download.bat file button. This is gonna download the file and as you can see, I actually got a warning here that said, hey, Google can't verify this file. Are you sure you want to continue with the download? You are going to have to select this warning and say download unverified file. Now, if you're not comfortable doing this, simply just select delete from history. Unfortunately, there is no workaround for this, so it is just part of mining. But if you're not comfortable with it, just delete from history and move on to something else in crypto. But once you download that, all you have to do is drag and drop it into the folder with all of the files you just extracted. So as you can see here, I have unminable eth kapow gminer.bat. And at this point, we are ready to get started mining. So all, the, all you have to do to get started is double click this file and you will notice another window pops up here saying, hey, Windows has protected your PC. Again, you will have to say more info and run anyway. Again, if this is something you're not comfortable with, simply select don't run and move on to something else in crypto. Unfortunately, there is no workaround, but the good news is this only pops up the very first time you run the file. So once you say run anyway, we are now up and running mining Ethereum using my RTX 3070 with Unminable in less than 10 minutes. We're coming up on eight minutes here in the video, including a little bit of looking at coin market cap. So you can see that really this is something that could be done in less than five minutes. So with that being said, a few final things about mining with Unminable. When you start the miner like I just did, it does take about 15 to 30 minutes for stats and payments to start showing up on the website. That is completely normal, but as long as everything looks pretty similar to what you're seeing on screen, no red text, no errors, things like that, you should start to see those stats come in soon. And on the other end, when you're ready to be done mining, all you have to do is find this CMD window and hit the red X. Once that's closed out, you are no longer mining and you can you know, do whatever else you want with your computer, use it for games, uh, video editing, shut it down, whatever it might be. The reason I mention that is because with Unminable, you may actually continue seeing stats and even payments into your on-site balance for up to 12 hours or longer after stopping the miner. So. It is something that's a little weird and I've seen the question before of, hey, you know, I've got this running, I stopped it and I'm still getting paid, is it mining in the background? As long as that window is closed out, um, you know that you don't have any mining going on. I wouldn't be too upset about it because, hey, you still are getting paid and you're not having to mine. So definitely pretty cool. But with that being said, that is pretty much the entire video here. So if you're still here, please consider hitting the like button and subscribing to Bitcoin Tips. It really does help us out and allow us to provide these videos here for free for you on YouTube. And if you're looking to support us a little further, feel free to check out the channel membership and super thanks options down below. Any support in that area is greatly, greatly appreciated. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.